There's a plague on London streets, a vile epidemic that's infecting our youth and sickening society. It's the pestilence of the hood. I'm a rat hood, UK, massive. Would you describe yourself as the lowest of the low, some kind of urban rat? Vermin, in fact. Right, right, that's enough. Fuck Turn off, man. Take that camera fucking, camera fucking camera away, fuck Tom. Hi, I'm Jason Lassange and I'm responsible for such documentaries as Urban Fox Hunting UK and the Manchester Weasel Hunt Massive. We're here on the mean streets of London to investigate an entirely new breed of vermin. Even worse than the fox. It's dark, it's dangerous, I'm a professional and we're talking about fashion. This is Urban Rat Hunt UK. Sit back and drink my talent. Massive! They might look like innocent kids, innocuously making their harmless way to the shops, but the truth of the real fact is that they're presenting a cunning illusion of smoke and mirrors to hide their trail to the pagan rendezvous. That's right, the hood, a simple article of clothing worn by many of today's youth. My investigation has uncovered the awful true fact of horrific reality, that the hood is a password into secret societies of underground occult delinquency. We've met up today with a member of the clone counter movement run by the church to entice disaffected youth into Christianity. We're talking Jesus hoodie revival. We're talking chastity, abstinence, guilt, prayer, Santa and religious mania. Why do people like that want to wear a hood? There's a long history of wearing hoods within the Christian church. Such as the hoods worn by the auto de fe during the Inquisition. Monks and nuns of various orders have worn hoods from You mean kinky time sex nuns wearing long hooded habits to cover their leather knickers and high heels? You see, the Bible teaches us that abstinence is the way you of You heard godliness. it here, folks. Kinky sex nuns held in cloistered captivity by hypocrite dog-collared priests to be used in satanic orgies of heaving pagan flesh. That's the history of the hood. Masquerade! <laughs> I eventually secured an interview with a member of that band of moral troglodytes known to those who jive in the parlance of the street patois as hood rats. Massive! Hi, I'm JC Lassange and we're here in the park talking about the recent ban on hoodies proposed by the government. You sir, tell us what's so good about the hood. Well, we ain't just trying to put them on to mug people and scare them and walk into shops without being unidentified. It's stylish and we put hoods on to keep ourselves warm in the cold. When it's raining we put them on and we're just not bad people, we're quite good people, you know. Massive, you've heard it here first folks, hoodies are good people. Massive, respect, yes. yes. Hi, I'm JC Lassange and this is a fairground. It might not look like it, we're around the back. This is where the carny folk live. But we're going inside to look for hoodies and find out why they do what they do. Come with me for Urban Rat Hunt UK. Massive! We have discovered that hoodies are good people. Hey, if you ban hoodies, I'm going to kill you. Who don't do it for fashion or for cult reasons, just for warmth and comfort. Or so they say. Let's find out if that's true. Come with me. Hi, we're here at the fairground. We've found someone who wants to talk about what's so good about the hood. Tell us, son, why do you wear a hood? It's thick, man. You heard it first here. Respect. <laughs> We've spoken to the CSOs and to the local police. They know nothing. I know, because I'm not allowed to express an opinion. Uh, that wasn't nice, right, mate? Alright, uh, because our position it's quite hard. Yeah. Probably not, because I'm just trying to control something in here, so... We're going to investigate further. Tell us what's so good about the hood. The hood is good. Jeez. It's good. It's a straightforward question. Hey, um, I don't know. Which is good. You heard it here first, folks. What's so good about the hood? We don't know. Massive. What's so good about the hood? It's the question we've been asking all night. Well, the hood covers your face, man. Smoking crap around the corners, covering our face so CCTV can't get us. You get me? 
Alright. I get you. I. Massive. This is Urban Rat Hunt UK. Pumping! We've learned that in this garden right behind me, there is about to take place a hooded orgy of occult excess. This is Urban Rat Hunt UK. Massive. I've just suddenly realised we're in the wrong fucking garden. They're over there. This is Urban Rat Hunt UK and we're back on track. Hardcore! They're not hoodies, they're witches. The rat hunt is over. This is now Urban Witch Hunt UK. No go. Now, there's a very real chance that if we're not absolutely quiet, we'll all be given alive to Satan in a protracted bout of bloody human sacrifice. Wait, there, right there, I ran, fast, like a gazelle, like a ninja, like a herd of ninja gazelles galloping into battle, like the Parthians of ancient Greece, I took one look at the enemy and I bravely turned my tail and fled. A brave man died that night, but it wasn't me. Next week on Urban Witch Hunt UK! How does it feel to be caught in blatant contravention of the Witchcraft Act? I'm not a witch. The witch denies it. Yes. Right. Since my birthday, product of my estate, I eat you created from hate. Push weight, my substance is words, technically pimpers, daddy's girls from the suburbs. Right. Last time on Urban Survival, UK. Massive boxes that rodents that I hate. My mate don't die, wouldn't be out here hunting them. We're talking about war! Against foxes, it's a major war. Just a couple of seconds ago, we saw... Look there! There! A fox! A fox. Okay, we're, we're running across a darkened field in the middle of the night, and I, I see no sign of the fox at all, and uh, it's gone.